Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years. Hi, I'm Cherry Johnson with Watauga County Arts Council, and I have with me Sharon Price. Now, Sharon is a professor at the university, but I also consider him a community person because you've been around a while. I have. Uh, when did you come to Boone? I came here in 2008. So you've been around, was that seven years? Yes. Okay. Well, eight, eight, it's eight more years. Like eight okay. Years, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so you've become a, a big part of our community yes, in a lot of ways. Now, you teach dance I do teach at the dance. university. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, you and I, before we started this uh, interview, we were talking about uh, teaching, you teach African dance? I teach West African dance, modern, and jazz at the university. Okay. And I teach um, dance history as well as um, silent form dance classes. Okay, now how much does Sharon get to perform? Um, Sharon probably doesn't really want to perform that much, <laughs> but, uh, but uh, I mean, I, I get a chance to do some sometime, you know, and, and we've had... Other, uh, things here at the university that would, you know, um, allow for our teachers to, to do more performing. But most of the time, you know, I, I enjoy teaching and choreographing. And so you're, you're actually very active, though, I'm sure. When you're I'm very doing active that. doing yeah. that. I teach at the American Dance Festival, which is happening down in Duke University. I do it every summer. I've been going there since 19, cool. um, uh, 1978, and I've been teaching it since 1993. And I go every summer, and I get a chance to, to do a lot of teaching students from all over the world at the American Dance Festival. That's neat. So if you're out there and you want to come take some dance classes down to Duke, come, come take some down there. It's a wonderful event. But they can try you out here. They can try me out here. <laughs> That's what we're here to yes, talk about. Yes, exactly. But I, I'm curious about Sharon. Uh, before we go there on, on how you can t try Sharon out, I'm curious. You uh, chose to be a dance professor. Why did you choose to be a dance professor? I was a football player years ago and um, in high school. and. Um, Somebody told me I'd injured both my ankles, and they said, Sharon, you should take a dance class. Mm -hmm. And I took a dance class to re rehabilitate my ankle. Really? And really found a love for it, huh. you know. And so, and, and there are a lot of athletes in the world today that are, are using dance as a way of um, getting their bodies to the place that they really want them to be flexible and, you know, and, and the stability and, you know, in their bodies. Um, and so um, it's the reason why I started That's dancing. That's interesting. I've never and heard anybody say that. And it's also a very that. creative okay. way to express oneself, uh -huh. you know, and I've always wanted to do that. I was always one of those kind of people who would always uh, learn all the social dances and then, you know, and it was a good way to show some of those social dances as uh -huh. well, too. And so um, even now, with hip hop being a big thing that people are doing now, um, it gets, gets a chance to... Um, involve more boys into dancing right. than mm -hmm. they usually was. Mm -hmm. You know, that I hear that a lot in music, too, about this emphasis on involving more boys. I think boys tend to back out of stuff like exactly. that. Exactly. And so this gives them an, a, an okay way to be into it. Right. You know. That, you know, that men have been dancing for centuries, you yeah, know, and so absolutely. why is it now that men feel uh -huh. like men shouldn't dance, you know, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> we we love to dance, you know, and so I think it's it's a great way for, ex, for uh, as exercise, fitness, you know, and um and I and I I would say that I make sure that I teach my classes in that way, you know, that That's is cool. very physical and it's very artistic, um, and it you know it, you know that I like people smiling and enjoying. Well, classes. I was going to say, how much of your would you say your class is fun versus hard work? I think it's both, you know. I think I like to make people laugh while I'm uh -huh. while they're taking class, you know. And sometimes we laugh at ourselves, you know. Maybe we laugh at the way we're moving, you know. And some, yeah. sometimes we don't know the way we're moving, you know. And so I think it's it's a um, it's a way of you know really connecting to your body, but not trying to compare your body with other people at the same time right. while, while taking a class. So you know the music playing, the music sounds great. You know I have a, a buddy of mine who's coming up from uh, the Greensboro area, Wesley Williams, and he's going to be playing drums with me with his two-year-old. Well, actually oh, three-year-old cool. now. You know, and so and 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 other uh, guys from the, the music, Sean Roberts, and other people from the community, uh -huh. Jeff um, Dickerson. You know, and so it's great to be able to have all these other musicians come out and play. And if you're a musician and you're interested in playing African rhythms, you know, please come out to it as well too. That's you cool. know. So um, I was just telling Miss Cherry earlier that when I was teaching down in Atlanta area, that. Um, it was a whole community thing where, mm -hmm. you know, dad would come up and drum and dance and, you know, and mom and, and the kids would actually be in a, in a dance classroom, you know, where it was divided that the young people were in the front, the 
the uh, less advanced people in, in the middle and then the advanced people at the end. And it was just it's constant up and down the floor, people enjoying themselves and food you know, to be sold afterwards and everything. So it's, it can be a very uh, a rewarding situation and yeah. community connecting situation. Exactly. It's a whole community event, not, exactly. just, not just what it looks like on the right. surface. That's really cool. Now, what's coming up? At, you have a chance to try Sharon out. <laughs> You're going to actually lead off a program this summer because yes, you're the first one doing exactly. it. Exactly. It's called Summer Dance Series, and you and I were saying that we really ought to think about that name because it sounds like a series of performances. Right, exactly. But it's not. Right. It's a series of opportunities. Exactly. And I think that's really neat. I just counted up. There's 12 of them. So 12 different chances to get into dance. And I was, um, he and I did radio before we came over here, and I told him on the radio, I said, uh, I'm one of those people that never really had any particular training or abilities in dance, never opportunities to do any dance. So there's a certain amount of inhibition, you know, just because of lack of experience. Exactly. So this sounds like a fantastic chance to kind of go try out some things that you've always heard about or you've always wanted to try. And then if it really takes, hey, you can go get more involved exactly. in it. Exactly, exactly. You know? But, uh, and this is a free opportunity you're offering to the community. Yes, ma'am. We, we, ask, we ask for donations, mm -hmm. you know, and our donations themselves actually go towards um, um, uh, scholarship for, uh, funds for our students at um, ASU in the theater dance program. Also, it also helps for guest artists, bringing guest artists into our program mm -hmm. as well, too. And so, um, it, you know, and if, if you're out there and you, you like to contribute to us towards a scholarship at all for, for the theater and dance program, we'd love to have you do that. You know, we're, we're still looking for some. We have some great students who come out and um, want, to, want to be dance majors. And, you know, and sometimes having the right funding is really important for right. students to go to college. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, please help us out. Okay. Um, now, the way that, that you're going to help this community out is with these opportunities. Let's talk right. about those 12 sure. things coming up. First one is coming up on June the 2nd, and you have a chance to try out African dance with Sharon. And you just mentioned that you're going to have some drummers. So is this live music? This is live music. Mm -hmm. It is. Um, um, so it's... It's, we always we call it a marriage between music and dance because you know it's you know to have tape recorded music you know it's it's you know we call it can music sometime you know um, it's not the same it doesn't give you the same kind of effect you know and so when you have loud musicians playing for you as you're moving across the floor it just gives you just a, a warm feeling it makes you a connection with you and the musician you listen to what they're right. playing and, re right. and reaction to what mm -hmm. you're doing I can imagine it's much more fun to dance to live music than it is oh, to it dance is to much can more music. much yeah. more yeah. yeah and so this is happening on June the 2nd from at 5 30 and it's at varsity gym that's correct uh, 208 I, varsity gym okay yeah and uh, the directions to get to room 208, in case you're not sure, are on their website, right. uh, which is uh, being posted at dance, uh, theater.dance.edu. Yes, ma'am. Is that right? And uh, so you're going to offer the, sh uh, the first venture into this, right. but then the next day, musical theater dance with Ray Miller. Do you know much about that I one? do. Ray Miller is actually in our department. Uh, she's in the theater dance program. Um, um, he does lots of things around ESU, but he um, is a jazz mus uh, jazz person, jazz dance um, person, um, does tapping and musical theater kind of choreography and stuff like that. It's coming from the Georgia area. Um, he's great. A lot of energy. Um, you, you, you will have fun with Ray Miller's class. That sounds so. interesting. And then you've got ballet with Sayward Grindley. Sayward actually just started her own studio here in, in the um, in the Boone, Boone area as well, too. And so she has um, a dance company, um, but she's also a, a, one of our adjuncts professor at the university. And so she's really... Um, pushing ballet to the boundaries and trying to get it out to education with, st with students and everything um, in, uh, in uh, middle school, high school, um, um, probably elementary and high school middle school, high school areas, you know, and, and also professional dancers as well, too. That's cool. So she's going to kind of introduce you to ballet, I she, guess. Well, yeah. she can do a little bit both, you know, uh -huh. introduce them. She's actually um, danced with the Sarasota Ballet. So she's wow. she's done it professionally, did her, you know, a mass, mm -hmm. her, she just finished her master's degree program as well, too. So, but it's um, okay not to already have a background exactly, in ballet. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. that's, that's my point. Exactly. Is, you know, mm -hmm. Make sure that those who have not had that opportunity right. would still feel welcomed. So, exactly. Yeah. Now, the next week, you kind of get a little bit more fun thrown in there. Hip-hop, well, not that the others aren't, but hip-hop with Josh, uh, Joshua Carr. Josh is one of our uh, students uh, 
who's taking a lot of dance classes and um, in, uh, in the department. He's a hip hop dancer, um, and 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 he, actually he's a dancer. Period. You know, he's a dancer at heart. He loves dance of any kind, in form, and will take classes. Uh -huh. You know, and um, he just got back from L.A. and he's now back here and he's finishing up his, you know, doing some other work with his education. But he's going to be te he teaches an incredible hip hop class. That's you cool. will enjoy it. He will make you laugh and have fun all through his classes. Yeah, hip hop seems very popular. Very right popular there. in this mm -hmm. area now. So now the one that uh, sounds really cool, jazz with Susan Lutz. Susan Lutz um, has uh, been teaching jazz in our program a long time. Uh, she's an excellent teacher, very clear with her technique, um, um, very um, um, energetic and you know and just loves and to have fun with jazz dance so That's I think neat. you enjoy class. And then Pilates, this one threw me. Pilates with the uh, Pilates teacher training. Tell me about Pilates and dance. Pilates is is, is a um, um, it's, it's falling in the somatics area you know where, where, where it's about tending to the body and you know uh, trainings for the body and so um, the students are you know there's a Pilates class at the university that um, there's a mat class and as well as a, a, a Pilates equipment class. A lot of times, I, you like to, I like to introduce it to my football players. I say, guys, you need to go in here and work out because uh, you got all these, you know, these equipment. You know, they look at it like a torture chamber. So no, it's not that at all. <laughs> because if you if you're on the other end where our dance <laughs> office is, the only thing that you ever hear that's coming out of that room is all laughter. You know, people in there and they're exercising. You know, it's uh, the equipment is actually helping you with your range of motion and and, and stretch and stretch and flexibility and strengthening um, strengthening stretch and flexibility with your bodies you know so it's really a wonderful way of um, of getting the body um, to the place that you want it to be toning your body the way you want it to so be it's not money and burning at all <laughs> no it's not at all it's not at all <laughs> okay now the following week they even throw it even further out there somewhere hula hoop <laughs> that is a really cool one with Barbara Roberts. <laughs> I've seen them out on the lawn at ASU, um, and it's been great to be watching them. Everybody has a hula hoop in there, just just moving and hula, and you know, and so <laughs> it's really great to see it. They view some of our spaces over in Varsity Gym as well too to have the hula when it's not so warm outside, you know. But I think it's a great way of exercise. I think it's a great way of you know seeing what people can actually do with the hula hoop, you know, doing double hula hoops or triple hula hoops, you know. Um, I think it's just a lot of fun, you know, and, and I think it's, it's geared towards people of all different ages. Now, do you know if you bring your own hula hoop or do they have I one? don't know. That would be a good question. Okay. I, would, I would think um, that she may bring hula hoops, you know. Yeah. As, as I said, there's a hula hoop club on campus as well, too. So I think they probably would have lots of hula hoops that uh, be available for, for community people to, yeah. to be able to do. If not, go get your hula hoop. Well, and if you're like me, and I never could get one hula hoop going, let alone two or three. Right. So would would this be something I would feel comfortable going oh, to? Oh, yes, ma'am. I think you would okay. love it. Yeah. They yeah. might actually get me over the hump. Um, <laughs> it gets you moving those hips, you know. And so I think that's really nice to, be, to see, you know, like, you know, using, using the hip and everything, you know, to try to do the movements. I think it's that's very, interesting. very interesting to do. That's yeah. cool. And then Samba, that sounds like such fun, with Dave Birchfield is right. on that Wednesday. Right. Followed by Hip Hop with EC. Right. EC is a student. He was, he's a student. Mm -hmm. He's um, I, um, a, a coming up student this year at ASU and a good hip, um, good hip, hip hop teacher. Uh, really want to get out there to the community, doing lots of teaching at different places and different uh, dance studios right. here in uh, the Boone area. Now, hip hop is a hot trend, but so is swing dance. Right. Swing dance is really taken off. Lately, there's a swing dance club I know at the university. Exactly. They came to our last Artful Palette, and the finale of our Artful Palette was the swing band, uh, which uh, Steve Frank is involved with, and uh, the swing dance club got out and did their stuff, and then the audience got into it, and right. everybody was swing dancing. Right. And so this is a swing dance class with Kayla Zimmerman. Right. So it's a great chance if, you know, like one of the guys brought me out on the floor of the swing dance. Fortunately, he was good, and I could follow him. But I'd love to know, learn more about swing dance. So that's a good opportunity isn't right. it, to go and get into that. The club itself usually um, offers some um, um, 
classes during the school year as well yeah. too where mm -hmm. where you can come in and and before the actual swing dance class itself happens that you know a preliminary thing that happens to show you some of the the techniques and you know educate you better on you know what uh what some of the movements are before they actually go into like the actual so you have more dance confidence. party kind yeah, of thing uh -huh, to it, you uh -huh. know. That's the fun thing about it. Learn and the then technique. Now we're talking something much more, I think, more serious, modern with Emily Daltridge. Right. And that's a different style entirely. Right. You know. And then finale of this whole thing is ballet with Regina James. Right. And so now both uh, both, both colleagues of mine at, right. at ASU uh -huh. and good teachers, you know. Um, I think students will, they, they work from little kids to older ki older people, and um, Emily also teaches yoga as well, too, you know, and so they both have worked. Um, yeah. uh, Regina's done a lot of stuff with the beginning students in ballet. Uh, she trains them so well. You mm -hmm. know, Emily has taught Modern 1, Modern 2, Modern 3, Modern 4 mm -hmm. at the university, um, a good colleague. Um, so you uh, you can't That's go wrong with great. any of the classes. Now these are starting on June the second and going through June the twenty fifth, and it's every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Exactly. And they all start at five thirty, and exactly. they're all in the same room mm -hmm. at Varsity Gym, right. so you can always find your way. Right. And uh, you can call the university at uh, two six four three zero two eight and get some information right. because we've run through it fairly quickly. Exactly. Uh, but I think this is uh, what strikes me about this is, and it struck me that I didn't know about this before now, and it's been going for what seven or eight years. It's been going for um, uh, since two thousand and seven. So that's that's several years yes, of this. So this is an opportunity though for folks to come in and not make a commitment to taking a big class in dance and getting involved in several weeks of something. It's, it's a sampler almost. Exactly. You know, go in and try it out, see what you want to do, and then you can pursue whatever you want to do. You know, there will so. be people of all different ages in the classroom. We say that the uh, Wednesday night, the Wednesday at five thirty, is probably geared towards people who've had some dance training. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, so it's going to probably be a little bit more of an advanced class. But the but the uh, the Tuesdays and, and and Thursday classes are geared towards everyone. Um, the way Miss James Regina James has actually set the classes up, she set them up as uh, stars in the classes, meaning that there's a one star class, which is probably more geared towards uh, beginning. There's a two, cla two star class, which is probably geared towards people in intermediate level. And then a three uh, star class, which is on a Wednesday, which is more geared towards people who are in more advanced technique. That's cool. Now, uh, what was I getting ready to say about this? Uh, oh, it's for children uh, 10 and up it can also come. So it's a great family opportunity. Exactly. Uh, you know, for mom, dad, and a couple of kids to come and dance together right? And, it, and work together on something. So I think that's a really neat thing, too. I can also imagine groups of folks that are friends getting together and saying, well, let's go do this together, exactly. you know, so so it's a great thing. You and I were talking about the, the uh, because we're in a smaller community, even though it feels like a very busy community, that there aren't always opportunities to do all of these kinds of dances, just root, like you can't go to a club and do samba just right. any night of the week, right. you know what I mean? So, but there are some opportunities to take these things further. Now tell me a little bit about that. You mentioned when we were before we started the interview about that there were some opportunities on campus that people could get involved with. Um, they're, the, they're the clubs that are on campus that, um, that also open themselves up to community people coming in and take yeah. classes as well too. Mm -hmm. There's a diversity festival that happens every um, um, spring semester that also includes a lot of the the teaching of different dance styles mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. like that and getting a chance to be able to hear music and dance and everything else you know and so um um but there are lots of opportunities to, for people to to be able to reconnect to yeah. asu we want to say that we're you know a whole a whole community here in the Watauga area that you know that everyone gets a chance to um, see what's happening on asu's campus you know whether or not if they're coming to you know some of the um, the the the, uh, the, um, uh, the series that happens over at the Schaefer Center, you know, there's mm -hmm. all kinds of dance coming here. The, um, the uh, David Parsons, Parsons Dance Company is coming here to perform this summer, you know. And so, be, please take a look out and see what all are happening. You know, incredible companies that are coming here to to ASU, you know. And it is and it's not just ASU; it is it is the Watauga area. And we hope that people will come out for all of you know, different I, events. All through the year, ever so often, I'm helping 
tell people about dance performances exactly. that are coming. Mm -hmm. uh, this is an unusual twist right. for a dance opportunity. But I'm imagining, this is just me imagining, that if I've tried some of these, then when I go see that performance, it's going to mean so much more to me. Exactly. To have seen it. A, a nice yeah, education. To, to you know, it. Yeah. Education to dance, you know. Um, we, like I said, we teach a class it's called Style and Form Dance class um, at um, ASU, which is mm -hmm. a class that gears um, it's a gen ed course which actually um, gives students a chance to look at the arts, you know, whether or not it's style and form theater, style and uh, form um, dance, mm -hmm. uh, music, you know, uh, philosophy, all these different things to be able to get people in a, uh, a different education on different things that they never thought about before or not thought about uh, wanting to view or be involved in. But um, I think it's, it's something cool. to really give our kids, you know, a, a, a hidden knowledge. Now, uh, some of the barriers that people would have in participating in something like this, let's talk about a couple of those. Sure. One of them is the campus as a whole is a little bit overwhelming to those of us that are not on campus right. daily. So Varsity Gym is an old building. Most everyone knows where Varsity Gym is. If you're going to go to Varsity Gym, where would you suggest that we you know, park and go to it? You know, it's at 5.30, so I'm assuming that's after the parking Regimen, you know, you can park exactly. easily at mm -hmm. that point in time. Where, where, where should people try to park? I would say park um, in the um, parking garage because the parking garage is right across the street from, um, um, from the varsity gym. And there's a walk across, as you know, yeah. that you can do mm -hmm. right in front of the cafeteria there and walk down there. And then you can walk straight in, you know, um, go yeah. straight over to varsity gym. So, it's, um, so I that think that's the accessible. easiest way to yeah. go, uh -huh. you know. Uh -huh. um, and um, that way you're not dealing with trying to cross four lanes or five lanes of traffic, <laughs> yeah, exactly. you know, uh, so that's the safest way to do it. But as you said, the um, parking lots are open at that time. Right. I'm not sure about parking itself on campus and, mm -hmm. and stuff like that during that time period, whether or not if you still have to have um, um, a permit or whatever to be able to Well, and then in, in this community, no matter whether you're talking downtown or you're talking university or wherever, that's often the question, right. you know, True. that people deal with. True. The other thing I think would be a question for folks is what do I wear? What do you wear? Relax, clo relaxed clothing, you know, um, clothing that feels relaxed for your body. Usually in ballet class, you know, we say leotards and tights, but we don't say that to everyone because everyone doesn't know to wear leotards and tights for, um, for ballet class, you know, but something comfortable to take class in, uh -huh. something that you can move, something that the, the teachers can see what's happening with your body, and not too, you know, you don't want clothing that's too, too baggy. You know that we can't see what's going on in your body. You know, oh, that gets um, in your way. Yes, yeah. right. Uh -huh. Hip hop plays very differently with that because usually hip hop goes with with baggy clothes. You know, African dance. I usually say wear something like, um, and I know people know no one ever really has it. You know, a wrap skirt. You know, and some people sometimes have nice African fabric with wrap skirts and stuff like that. I try to. I, I ask for that sometime in my classroom because I feel that it gets people more connected to Africa by wearing something that looks African as well. I think too. you should just have an assortment of fabrics and people can wrap themselves up right there. I might do that. <laughs> I think I it's a good that. way to do it. <laughs> I do have lots of fabrics like that and I may just bring them to class and just you know have people have have not only just have a uh, an African experience with just taking the class but also have a color uh, thing going on. Absolutely. Which, which Put you in the spirit. Yes. <laughs> I think that'd be fun. So uh, so this is something that that it, you just kind of go chill out and relax and exactly. enjoy it. Mm -hmm. It's not something that you have to go buy equipment for, go buy materials no. for, go do something special in advance. Right. It's just just go do it. And please know? and please don't say, well I'm, I'm gonna do this when you know whenever I lose a couple of weights, yeah, a little bit more um, <laughs> weight. <laughs> Don't, yeah. <laughs> don't let that ever stop you from taking a dance class, you know. People, are, you know, it's, it's really about you personally coming in and enjoying other people. It's not about your body looking like somebody else's body because our, all our bodies are very, very different and all our bodies are changing, you know. And so it's really about you coming in and com coming in as a community person and, and getting a chance to meet other people that you probably would not meet in a normal setting. It's also a great chance to get some exercises if you want to exactly. lose a little weight. Exactly. You know, because exactly. and a yeah. fun way. Mm -hmm. You know, where you you're not just counting repetitions. Right. You know, you're right. you're doing something that gets you in the spirit of it. And I think this is yeah. a whole community of Zumba too. You know, Zumba is a, a big thing in this community as well too. And so if you, you know, you can find different com uh, Zumba classes that are happening in the area, you know, please take them. Yoga classes, the yo uh, uh, yoga studio, uh, neighborhood yoga studio, and even different places around um, That's ASU, cool. you know, ASU That's as cool. well as the mm -hmm. community. That's neat. You know, uh, theater and dance are two things that 
are a little bit, little, some people are a little removed from those particular arts art forms. You know, they're more inclined to pick up an instrument or a paintbrush than they are to get involved in something like this. But that shouldn't be a barrier because right. it's, it's something anybody can go participate right. in. And I would imagine, now I'm, I'm going out on a limb here, I would imagine that even if someone has some disability of some sort, that you would find a way to help them participate in that art form, you know, if they would like to do that. So right. it's, it's something that's open to we anyone. Do, we do, in fact, we do. In fact, this year, I will probably have a student who is a, um, a disabled student who's actually coming to take my um, my African jazz, or my African or my jazz class, you know. Cool. And so we invite people to come to class, you know, and, and you know, we, you know, it's not, you know, it's, it is an experience for everyone in mm -hmm. the classroom mm -hmm. and an experience for us too, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. because part of our teaching is, is making sure that when we can go into other settings and teach right. a right. different different group of people, you know, mm -hmm. different disabilities, you know, and, 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 and have them interested in dance. My, uh, my When I was working on a degree at UNCG was actually in dance education, you know. Yeah. In dance education, you got to learn to, to, to teach multiple populations. Mm -hmm. You know, and so um, you're going to get that a lot. We'll get right. that a lot. I think one of the most powerful performances I've ever seen was a, a dance trip. I think we were ballet that was on in wheelchairs. Right. And they're fascinating because these people, they are they're in the spirit. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. it just shows. You know, so it's really cool. Mm -hmm. But well, I encourage you to get involved. This is a great chance to dabble your toe in the water and kind of just right. check it all out. And then, like I said earlier, it also will make all those performances we'll be telling you about all through next fall and into the spring, make them more meaningful to you, too, because you have you kind of know a little bit more about what's going on up there, you know, so it's it's a little more fun to watch right. when you know something about exactly. it. Exactly. So. Sharon, thank you so much You're for welcome. coming and bringing this to my attention. Sure. You know, it's the first time I'd heard about it, so I'm really excited that this is an opportunity that we can tell folks about, a chance for people to get involved in the arts. That's what it's all about. Yes. We've had lots of help trying to get it out to media, so, you, so make sure you, you take a look at it. You know, I thank all those people who have helped uh, so much about getting this out on the website, you know, because um, it's really important that we get it out to the community. It is about you. That's great. Well, thank you so much. And check our website also, watauga-arts.org, for information that will take you to this and a lot more. Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years.